As the volume of air traffic continues to increase at the Grand Forks International Airport, UND Aerospace students and instructors must continue to exercise focused vigilance when operating in the Grand Forks terminal area. Specifically, as an aircraft departs simultaneously with other aircraft on days that pose a significant crosswind, these aircraft at times have been observed compromising separation standards by failing to maintain a ground track aligned with the departure runway's extended centerline. Failure to maintain the runway's extended centerline during departure can present a risk to both aircraft departing simultaneously on parallel runways. A drifting aircraft can pose a hazard to a corresponding departing aircraft that is, in fact, properly maintaining its extended centerline on the departure leg. Furthermore, a drifting aircraft can pose a hazard to aircraft in and around the traffic pattern, most notably an aircraft operating on the parallel downwind leg. Finally, understand that this bulletin only applies to VFR flights since any aircraft operating under an IFR flight plan is expected only to maintain the tower assigned heading and not a specific ground track. It's your responsibility as the pilot in command to verify that throughout the entire departure leg, your aircraft maintains a ground track that is aligned with the extended runway centerline. This can be safely accomplished by choosing landmarks in front of the aircraft and visually cross-checking that landmark's relative position to some fixed indicator on the aircraft itself. This indicator could be a point on the windscreen or perhaps the engine cowling. For example, make it your common practice to align a road or maybe a lake with a rivet on the forward tip of the cowling. A fixed landmark will guarantee that the aircraft is experiencing little or no wind drift. As a secondary check, you can also make an attempt to visually verify your aircraft's position in relation to the actual departure runway itself. In the Cessna 172, this is easy. Simply make quick glances through the aircraft's rear windows and verify that the departure runway is directly behind your aircraft. In UND's Piper aircraft, this verification may require a little more finesse by taking advantage of the airplane's crab and attempting to make visual contact with the runway through any of the side windows. Use these procedures until your aircraft reaches an altitude where you can make your initial turn and proceed with the UND departure procedure that will take you to your practice area. Now these techniques are really just tips to help you increase your situational awareness in the busy terminal area. As the pilot in command, you must be aware of your proximity to other aircraft when operating from a busy airport that serves close, parallel runways. Maintaining an outside visual scan will not only aid in constantly checking your own aircraft's position, but will help you identify other aircraft that may have drifted into your departure path. This has been a UND Aerospace Safety Bulletin. For further information on this bulletin, contact the UND Aerospace Safety Department at 701 777-7848. And when everything's said and done, have fun and fly safe.